Part 27. Abraham said, O ones who were sent, what is your business? They said, We were sent to a folk, ones who sin, to send on them rocks of clay marked by thy Lord for the ones who are excessive. So we brought out those who had been in it of the ones who believe. But we found in it nothing but a house of ones who submit, and we left a sign in it for those who fear the painful punishment. And in Moses, when we sent him to Pharaoh with a clear authority, then Pharaoh turned away to his court. He said, One who is a sorcerer, one who is possessed. So we took him and his armies, and cast them forth into the water of the sea, and he is one who is answerable. And in Ad, when we sent against them the withering wind, it forsaked not anything it approached, but made it like it was decayed. And in Thalmud, when it was said to them, Take joy for a while, yet they defied the command of their Lord, so the thunderbolt took them while they were looking on. They were neither able to stand up, nor had they been ones who aid themselves. And the folk of Noah from before, truly they had been a folk, ones who disobey. And we built the heaven with potency, and truly we are ones who extend wide. And the earth, we have spread it forth. How excellent are the ones who spread! And of everything we have created mates, so that perhaps you would recollect. So run away towards God. Truly I am to you a clear warner from him. And make not with God any other God. Truly I am to you a clear warner from him. There approached not those who were before them any messenger, but that they said, One who is a sorcerer, or one who is possessed. Are they recommending this to one another? Nay, they are a folk, ones who are defiant. So turn away from them, that thou art not one who is reproached. And remind, for truly the reminder profits the ones who believe. And I created not jinn and humankind, but that they worship me. I want no provision from them, nor want I that they should feed me. Truly God, he is the provider, the possessor of strength, the sure. And truly, the impiety of those who do wrong is like the impiety of their companions. So let them not seek to hasten the judgment. Then woe to those who disbelieved in that day of theirs that they are promised. Chapter 52 The Mount In the name of God, the Merciful, the Compassionate By the Mount, and by a book inscribed on an unrolled scroll of parchment, and by the frequented house, and by the exalted roof, and by the sea, that which is poured over. Truly, the punishment of thy Lord is that which falls. There is no one who averts it. On a day when the heaven will spin a spinning, and the mountains will journey a journey, then woe on a day to the ones who deny. Those, they who are engaging in play, on a day they will be driven away with force to the fire of hell, with a driving away. This is the fire which you had been denying. Is this then sorcery, or is it that you perceive not? Roast you in it, and whether you have patience, or you patiently endure not, it is all the same to you. You will be only given recompense for what you had been doing. Truly, the ones who are God-fearing will be in gardens, and bliss, ones who are joyful for what their Lord has given them, and their Lord has protected them from the punishment of hellfire. Eat and drink wholesomely because of what you had been doing. They will be ones who are reclining on couches arrayed, and we will give in marriage to them lovely-eyed hoolies, and those who have believed and their offspring who followed them in belief, we cause them to join their offspring and we will not deprive them of anything of their actions. Every man will be pledged for what he has earned. And we have furnished relief to them with sweet fruit and meat, such as that for which they lust. 
they will contend with one another for a cup around which there is no idle talk nor accusation of sinfulness and boys of theirs will go around them as if they had been well-guarded pearls and some of them will come forward to some others demanding of one another they would say truly we had been before ones who are apprehensive among our people but god has shown grace to us and has protected us from the punishment of the burning wind truly we had been calling to him before truly he he is the source of goodness the compassionate so remind thou art not by the divine blessing of thy lord a soothsayer nor one who is possessed or they say a poet we await for the misfortune of fate for him say await for i am among the ones who are waiting or are they commanded by their faculties of understanding to this or are they a folk ones who are defiant or say they he has fabricated it nay they believe not then let them bring a discourse like it if they have been ones who are sincere or are they created out of nothing or are they creators of themselves or created they the heavens and the earth nay they have not certainty or are the treasures of thy lord with them or are they registrars or have they a ladder by means of which they listen then let ones who are listening bring a clear authority or has he daughters and they have sons or askest thou from them for compensation so that they are from something owed ones who are to be weighed down or is the unseen with them and they write it down or want they cunning but it is those who were ungrateful they are the ones who were outwitted or have they a god other than god glory be to god from all that they ascribed partners with him and if they were to consider a piece of the heaven falling they would say heaped up clouds so forsake them until they encounter their day in which they will be swooning a day when their cunning will avail them not at all nor will they be helped and truly for those who do wrong there is a punishment besides that but most of them know not so have patience for the determination of thy lord for truly thou art under our eyes and glorify the praise of thy lord when thou hast stood up at the time of dawn and glorify at night and the drawing back of the stars chapter fifty three the star in the name of god the merciful the compassionate by the star when it is hurled to ruin neither has your companion gone astray nor has he erred nor speaks he for himself out of desire it is but a revelation that is revealed taught to him by the one stronger in strength possessor of forcefulness then he stood poised while he was on the loftiest horizon then he came to pass near and hung suspended until he had been at a distance of two bow lengths or closer then he revealed to his servant what he revealed the mind lied not against what it saw will you altercate with him about what he saw and certainly he saw it another time near the low tree of the utmost boundary near which is the garden of the place of shelter when overcame the low tree what overcame it the sight swerved not nor was it defiant certainly he saw some of the greatest signs of his lord have you then seen al lot and al uza and menat the third the other have you males and has he females that then is an unfair division they are but names that you have named you and your fathers for which god has not sent forth any authority they follow nothing but opinion and that for which their souls yearn and certainly has drawn near to them the guidance from their lord or will the human being have what he covets then to god belongs the last and the first and how many an angel in the heavens is there whose intercession will avail nothing at all except after god gives permission to whom he wills and he is well pleased truly 
those who believe not in the world to come name the angels with female names, while they have no knowledge of it. They follow nothing but opinion, and truly opinion avails them not at all against the truth. So turn aside from him who turns away from our remembrance, and he wants nothing but this present life. That is their attainment of knowledge. Truly thy Lord, he is the one who is greater in knowledge of those who go astray from his way, and he is greater in knowledge of those who are truly guided. And to God belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in and on the earth, that he may give recompense to those who did evil for what they have done, and give recompense to those who did good with fairness, those who avoid the major sins and the indecencies, but the lesser offenses. Truly, thy Lord is one who is extensive in forgiveness. He is greater in knowledge of you when he caused you to grow from the earth and when you were an unborn child in the wombs of your mothers. So ascribe not purity to yourselves. He is greater in knowledge of him who is God-fearing. Hast thou considered him who turned away and gave a little, giving grudgingly, is the knowledge of the unseen with him so that he sees it? Or is he told what is in the scrolls of Moses and of Abraham who paid his account in full? The burdened soul will not bear the heavy load of another. The human being has nothing but what he endeavors for, and that his endeavor will be seen. After that, he will be given recompense for it with a more true recompense. And that towards thy Lord is the utmost boundary, and that it is he, he who causes laughter and causes weeping, and that it is he, he who causes to die and gives life, and that it is he, he created the pairs, male and female, from seminal fluid when it is emitted, and that with him is another growth, and that it is he, he who enriched and made rich, and that it is he, he who is the Lord of Sirius, and that it is he, he who caused to perish the former Ad and Thamud, causing none to remain, and the folk of Noah before. Truly they, they had been they who do greater wrong, and the ones who are defiant. He has overthrown cities that he caused to tumble, then enwrapped them with what enwrapped. Then which of the benefits of thy Lord wilt thou quarrel with? This is a warner among the previous warnings. The day of threat is threatening. There is not other than God, one who uncovers it. Then at this discourse you marvel? And will you laugh and not weep, while you are ones who pass life in enjoyment? So prostrate to God and worship Him. Chapter 54 The Moon In the name of God, the Merciful, the Compassionate The hour neared and the moon was split, and if they see a sign, they turn aside and say, Incessant sorcery, and they deny and follow their own desires, and every affair is that which is settled and certainly the tidings have drawn near to them of that which was a deterrent, that which is far-reaching wisdom, yet warnings avail not, so turn away from them. On a day when the one who calls will call to a horrible thing, their sight will be that which is humbled, and they will go forth from the tombs as if they had been dispersed locusts, ones who run forward with their eyes fixed in horror towards the one who calls, the ones who are ungrateful will say, This is a difficult day. The folk of Noah denied before them. They denied our servant and said, One who is possessed. And he was deterred. So he called to his Lord, saying, I am one who was vanquished, so help me. So we opened the doors of heaven with torrential water, and we caused the earth to gush forth with springs, so the waters were to meet one another according to a measured command, and we carried him on a vessel of planks and caulked, running under our eyes, a recompense for Noah, whom had been disbelieved. And certainly we have left this as a sign. Then is there one who recalls? 
so how had been my punishment and my warning? And certainly we have made the Quran easy as a remembrance. Then is there one who recalls? Ad denied, so how had been my punishment and my warning? Truly we sent a raging wind against them on a day of continuous misfortune, tearing out humanity as if they had been uprooted palm trees, uprooted. So how had been my punishment and my warning? And certainly we have made the Quran easy as a remembrance. Then is there one who recalls? Thalmud denied the warning, for they said, Are we to follow a lone mortal from among us? Truly, we would be then going astray and insane. Is it that the remembrance was cast down to Saleh from among us? Nay, he is a rash liar. They will know tomorrow who the rash liar is. Truly, we are ones who send the she-camel as a test for them. So be on the watch for them and maintain patience and tell them that the division of the water is between them. Every drink was one that was divided in turn. But they cried out to their companion and he took her in hand and crippled her. So how had been my punishment and my warning? Truly, we sent against them one cry and they had become like straw for the one who is a pen builder. And certainly we have made the Quran easy as a remembrance. Then is there one who recalls? The folk of Lot denied the warning. Truly we sent against them a sandstorm, but the family of Lot. We delivered them at the breaking of day as a divine blessing from us. Thus we give recompense to him who gave thanks. And certainly he had warned them of our attack, but they quarreled over the warning. And certainly they solicited his guests, so we obliterated their eyes. Then experience my punishment and my warning. And certainly it came in the morning, early morning at dawn, a settled punishment. Then experience my punishment and my warning. And certainly we have made the Quran easy as a remembrance. Then is there one who recalls? and certainly drew near the warning to the people of Pharaoh. They denied our signs, all of them. So we took them with a taking, one who is almighty, omnipotent. Are ones who are ungrateful better than those, or have you an immunity in the ancient scrolls? Or say they, we are aided altogether. Their multitude will be put to flight, and they will turn their backs. Nay, the hour is what has been promised them, and the hour will be more calamitous and more distasteful. Truly ones who sin are going astray and insane. On a day they will be dragged into the fire on their faces. Experience the torch of Saqqar. Truly we have created all things in measure, and our command is not but one as the twinkling of the eye. And certainly we have caused to perish their partisans. Is there then one who recalls? And each and everything they have accomplished is in the ancient scrolls, and every small and great thing is that which was inscribed. Truly, the ones who are God-fearing will be in gardens and rivers, in positions of sincerity near an omnipotent king. Chapter 55 The Merciful in the name of God, the merciful, the compassionate. The merciful, he taught the Quran. He created the human being. He taught him the clear explanation. The sun and the moon are to keep count, and the stars and the trees both prostrate, and the heaven he has exalted, and he has set in place the balance, that you be not defiant in the balance, set up the weighing with justice and with equity, and skimp not in the balance. And he has set the earth in place for the human race. On and in it are many kinds of sweet fruit and date palm trees with the sheaths of a fruit tree and grains possessors of husks and fragrant herbs. So which of the benefits of the Lord of you both will you both deny? He created the human being from earth mud like potter's clay. He created the ones who are the spirits, 
from a smokeless flame of fire. So which of the benefits of the Lord of you both will you both deny? The Lord of the two Easts and the Lord of the two Wests. So which of the benefits of the Lord of you both will you both deny? He has let forth the two seas to meet one another. Between them is a barrier which they wrong not. So which of the benefits of the Lord of you both will you both deny? From both of them go forth pearls and coral. So which of the benefits of the Lord of you both will you both deny? His are ones that run with that which was displayed in the sea like landmarks. So which of the benefits of the Lord of you both will you both deny? All who are in or on it are ones who are being annihilated, yet the countenance of thy Lord will remain for ever, possessor of the majesty and the splendor. So which of the benefits of the Lord of you both will you both deny? Of him asks whoever is in the heavens and in and on the earth. Every day he is on an affair. So which of the benefits of the Lord of you both will you both deny? We will attend to you at leisure, O you two dependents. So which of the benefits of the Lord of you both will you both deny? O you both, assembly of jinn and humankind, if you are able to pass through the areas of the heavens and the earth, then pass through them. But you will not pass through, but with an authority. So which of the benefits of the Lord of you both will you both deny? There will be sent against you both a flame of fire and heated brass. Will you not then help yourselves? So which of the benefits of the Lord of you both will you both deny? Then, when the heaven was split and it became crimson like red leather, so which of the benefits of the Lord of you both will you both deny? On that day no one will be asked about his impiety, neither humankind nor ones who are spirits. So which of the benefits of the Lord of you both will you both deny? Ones who sin will be known by their mark, and they will be taken by their forelocks and their feet. So which of the benefits of the Lord of you both will you both deny? This is hell, which the ones who sin deny. They will go around between it and scalding boiling water. So which of the benefits of the Lord of you both will you both deny? For him who feared the station before his Lord are two gardens. So which of the benefits of the Lord of you both will you both deny? Possessor of wide shade, so which of the benefits of the Lord of you both will you both deny? Two springs will be running. So which of the benefits of the Lord of you both will you both deny? In them both every kind of sweet fruit of diverse pears. So which of the benefits of the Lord of you both will you both deny? ones who are reclining on places of restfulness, the inner linings of which are of brocade, and the fruit plucked from trees while fresh, ones that are drawn near from the two gardens. So which of the benefits of the Lord of you both will you both deny? In them both are ones restraining their glances. No humankind has touched them sexually before, nor ones who are spirits, so which of the benefits of the Lord of you both will you both deny? They are as if they were like rubies and coral. So which of the benefits of the Lord of you both will you both deny? Is the recompense for kindness other than kindness? So which of the benefits of the Lord of you both will you both deny? Besides these are two other gardens. So which of the benefits of the Lord of you both will you both deny? Dark green. So which of the benefits of the Lord of you both will you both deny? In them both are two springs gushing. So which of the benefits of the Lord of you both will you both deny? In them both are sweet fruits and date palm trees and pomegranates. So which of the benefits of the Lord of you both will you both deny? In them both are the good works, fair. So which of the benefits of the Lord of you both will you both deny? black-eyed ones who are to be restrained in edifices. So which of the benefits of the Lord of you both will you both deny? No humankind has touched them sexually before, nor ones who are spirits. So which of the benefits of the Lord of you both will you both deny? Ones who are reclining on green pillows and fair carpets. 
so which of the benefits of the lord of you both will you both deny blessed be the name of thy lord possessor of the majesty and the splendor chapter fifty six the inevitable in the name of god the merciful the compassionate when the inevitable came to pass its descent is not that which lies it will be one that abases one that exalts when the earth will rock with a rocking and the mountains are crumbled to dust crumbling then they become dust scattered abroad and you have been of three diverse pairs then the companions of the right hand who are the companions of the right hand and the companions of the left hand who are the companions of the left hand and the ones who take the lead are the ones who take the lead those are the ones who were brought near in the gardens of bliss a throng of the ancient ones and a few of the later ones are on lined couches ones who are reclining on them ones who are facing one another immortal children circle around them with cups and ewers and goblets from springs of water neither will they be ones who suffer headaches nor will they be intoxicated and sweet fruit of what they may specify and the flesh of birds for which they lust and lovely-eyed ones black-eyed like the parable of the well-guarded pearls a recompense for what they had been doing they will not hear any idle talk in it nor accusation of sinfulness but the saying of peace peace and the companions of the right hand who are the companions of the right hand those among thornless low trees and acacias one on another and spread out shade and by outpoured water and many sweet fruit there is neither that which was to be cut off nor that which was inaccessible and it is an exalted place of restfulness truly we have caused them to grow a good forming and made them virgins full of love of the same age for the companions of the right hand a throng of the ancient ones and a throng from the later ones and the companions of the left hand who are the companions of the left hand those in burning wind and scalding water and shade of black smoke neither that which is cool nor generous truly they had been before ones who were given ease and they had been persisting in tremendous wickedness and they had been saying when we have died and have become as earth dust and bones will we then be ones who are raised up and also our ancient fathers say truly the ancient ones and the later ones will be ones who were to be gathered to a time appointed on a known day after that you o ones who go astray are the ones who deny certainly you will be ones who eat from the zakum tree then you will be ones who fill your bellies from it then ones who drink scalding water after it so you will be ones who drink like the drinking of thirsty camels this will be their welcome on the day of judgment we we created you why establish it not as true have you considered what you spill of human seed is it you who create it or are we the ones who are the creators we have ordained death among you and we are not ones who were to be outrun in that we will substitute your likenesses and cause you to grow in what you know not and surely you have known the first growth will you not then recollect have you considered the soil that you till is it you who sows it or are we the ones who sow if we will we would make it into chaff and you would continue to joke saying we are ones who are debt loaded nay we are ones who were to be deprived have you considered the water that you drink is it you who sent it forth from the cloud vapor or are we the ones who send forth if we will we would make it bitter why then give you not thanks have you considered the fire which you kindle is it you who causes the tree to grow or are we the ones who cause it to grow we have made it an admonition and sustenance for ones who are desert people then glorify with the name of thy lord the sublime but no i swear by the orbit of the stars 
and truly that is an oath to be sworn if you know sublime truly it is certainly a generous recitation in a well-guarded book none touches it but the ones who are purified ascending down successively from the lord of the worlds then is it this discourse that you are ones who scorn and you make it your provision that you you deny the recitation then why not intervene when it reaches the windpipe and it is you looking on at the time and we are nearer to him than you yet you perceive not then why have you not been if you are not ones who were to be judged returning the soul if you have been ones who are sincere if he has been of ones who were brought near to god there is solace and fragrant herbs and a garden of bliss and if he had been of the companions of the right hand then peace for thee from the companions of the right hand and yet if he had been of the ones who go astray ones who deny then a welcome of scalding water and broiling in hell-fire truly this is the truth of certainty so glorify the name of thy lord the almighty chapter fifty seven iron in the name of god the merciful the compassionate whatever is in the heavens glorifies god and whatever is in and on the earth and he is the almighty the wise to him belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth he gives life and causes to die and he is powerful over everything he is the first and the last the one who is outward and the one who is inward and he is knowing of everything it is he who created the heavens and the earth in six days then he turned his attention to the throne he knows what penetrates into the earth and what goes forth from it and what comes down from the heaven and what goes up to it and he is with you wherever you have been and god is seeing of what you do to him belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth all commands return to god he causes the night time to be interposed into the daytime and causes the daytime to be interposed into the night time and he is knowing of whatever is in the breasts believe in god and his messenger and spend out of what he has made you ones who are successors in it those of you who have believed and have spent for them is a great compensation and what is the matter with you that you believe not in god while the messenger calls to you to believe in your lord and he has taken your solemn promise if you have been ones who believe it is he who sends down to his servants clear portents signs that he may bring you out from the shadows into the light and truly god is to you gentle compassionate and what is the matter with you that you not spend in the way of god and to god belongs the heritage of the heavens and the earth not on the same level are those among you who spent before the victory and fought those are more sublime in degree than those who spent afterwards and fought and god has promised fairness to all and god is aware of what you do who is he who will lend to god a fair loan that he may multiply it for him and he will have a generous compensation on a day thou shalt see the ones who are male believers and the ones who are female believers their light coming eagerly in advance of them and on their right good tidings for you this day gardens beneath which rivers run ones who will dwell in them for ever that is the winning the sublime triumph on a day will say the ones who are male hypocrites and the ones who are female hypocrites to those who have believed wait for us that we may borrow a light from your light it will be said return behind and search out for a light there would be a fence set up between them for which there is a door that which is inward is mercy and that which is outward is towards the punishment the hypocrites will cry out to the believers had we not been with you they will say yea and you let yourselves be tempted and you awaited and you were in doubt and you were deluded by following your fantasies until the command of god drew near 
and the deluder deluded you in regard to God. So this day ransom will not be taken from you, nor from those who were ungrateful. Your place of shelter is the fire. It is your defender, and how miserable the homecoming. Was it not the time for those who had believed that their hearts be humbled by the remembrance of God and to the truth that had come down to them, and that they not become like those who were given the book before? Then the space of time was long for them, so their hearts became hardened, and many of them were ones who disobey. Know you that God gives life to the earth after its death? Surely we have made manifest the signs to you, so that perhaps you would be reasonable. Truly, the ones who are charitable males and the ones who are charitable females and who lend a fair loan to God, it will be multiplied for them, and for them there is a generous compensation. And those who have believed in God and his messengers, those, they are the just persons and the witnesses to their Lord. For them is their compensation and their light. And those who were ungrateful and denied our signs, those are the companions of hellfire. Know that this present life is only a pastime, a diversion, and an adornment, and a mutual boasting among you, and a rivalry in respect to wealth and children as the likeness of plenteous rainwater. The plants impressed ones who are ungrateful. After that, it withers, becoming yellow. After that, it becomes chaff, while in the world to come there is severe punishment and forgiveness from God and contentment, and this present life is nothing but a delusion of enjoyment. Race towards forgiveness from your Lord and towards the garden whose depth is as the breadth of the heavens and earth. It was prepared for those who have believed in God and his messengers. That is the grace of God. He gives it to whom he wills, and God is the possessor of the sublime grace. And no affliction lights on the earth nor on yourselves, but it is in a book that we fashioned before. Truly that is easy for God, so that you not grieve over what has slipped away from you, nor be glad because of what has been given to you. And God loves not any proud, boastful one. Those who are misers and who command humanity to miserliness, and whoever turns away, then God, he is the sufficient, the worthy of praise. Certainly we have sent our messengers with the clear portents, and we sent forth with them the book and the balance, so that humanity may uphold equity, and we sent forth iron, in which is vigorous might, and profits for humanity, that perhaps God would know those who help him and his messengers in the unseen. Truly God is strong, almighty. And certainly we sent Noah and Abraham, and we assigned to their offspring prophethood and the book, and of them are ones who are truly guided, while many of them are ones who disobey. After that, we sent our messengers following in their footsteps, and we sent following them Jesus, son of Mary and we gave him the gospel, and we assigned in the hearts of those who followed him tenderness and mercy. But as for monasticism, they made it up themselves. We prescribed it not for them, but they were looking for the contentment of God. Then they gave it not the attention, giving its right attention. So we gave those who believed among them their compensation, and many of them are ones who disobey. O those who have believed, be God-fearing of God, and believe in his messenger. He will give you a like part of his mercy, and he assigns you a light to walk by, and he will forgive you, and God is forgiving, compassionate. Certainly the people of the book may know that they have no power over anything of the grace of God, and that the grace of God is in the hand of God. He gives it to whomever he wills, and God is possessor of the sublime grace.